Hello everyone. Today we are going to show you how to create a button and insert it into the layer slider. First thing will be is to log into your site WP admin and open the layer slider where would you like to add the button. Now I am going to add a new layer. I will name this layer button 2. Now we will go through three steps. Number one will be add the button markup. Number two will be add button styles. And finally, we will add button class. You will find a text file that you can easily download above this video. Once it is in your site, open it using one of the text editors. Here you will find a markup for the button if you want it to open on the same window. And here you will find a markup for the button if you want it to open on a new window. Let's try the first one. I will copy this markup and I will go back to the layer slider layer and in the text I will put the markup. Now if we scroll up we will find here the markup. Simply it is anchor here is the href, so we can replace it with our URL. Let's say we want the button to navigate to google.com. So I will type google.com URL inside the href. A new features is the title of the button. If we scroll up, we will see that it is a new features. Let's name it go to Google. So if we scroll up, it will be go to Google. This is the first step. Now the second step will be is to copy the button styles. So I will copy all of them and I will return back to the layer. And now we will go to styles. Once you are there, scroll down to the custom CSS. You can expand it and simply you can paste your code here. The first one will be the font size of the button. It's the font size 12 pixels. Now the color is the color of the text is white. The font family is open sans. The font weight is bold. Letter spacing is the spaces between the letters is a three pixel. The border radius is a three pixel. Now the padding from top and bottom is 15 pixel and from left and right is 29 pixels. For the border is one pixel, solid and with this color. And for the background color, we chosen this color. So if we scroll up, we will see that our new button is styled properly. Now there will be the final step. The final step is to copy the button class and we will return back to the attributes tab. Once you are there, insert the button class inside classes attribute. So I will paste it here. Once you are done, save the changes. It's saved. Now I will refresh my layer slider. And here we will find our button. If we hover there, it will navigate to google.com. Now, let's say that we want the button to open in a new tab. So we will, we will replace the markup with the second one, which will tell the button to open in a new tab. So let's say we want it here and I want it to navigate to sentient theme now I will name it go to sentient I will save the changes 
Once it's saved, I will refresh my layer slider. And here is our button. I will click on it and it open in a new tab and it navigate to sentient theme. We are done. If you have any questions regarding this video, just hit up our support forum and we will be there to help you anytime.